Because another piece that is missing from this that we probably need to talk about sooner rather than later is what some of these dimensional standards are. Because, at the, because you know, Danielle had suggested a goal of trying to get, say in the URC, get it so that 70% of lots are conforming. And if we were to really try to do that, then we would be changing some of these numbers. Right. Um, and Can so, I just jump on that quickly yeah. as a sidebar? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I did just because of that request for sort of what we might do with these numbers, I did do a quick and dirty GIS analysis of the lot size and broke it down. I don't, we don't need to go over it now, but I didn't get a chance to email it out, but it, um, more single families conform and then it gets really up to 96% non-conforming. This is UR okay. Yeah. Um, but and that's mostly, but that's really because that's it's mainly one size. thing, right. because the lot size requirements. Right. So that is easy. I mean, if we want to go toward that goal, which is still a policy question, but if right. we did, then there would be a fairly simple fix in, in that we would make the lot size requirements less burdensome for the two and three family houses, right? Right, and even potentially single family, because it's still a big chunk, 40%, that are not yeah. conforming for existing single yeah. families. So you, for just lot size, not just tax or anything else. You didn't look at front of your I can't, because yeah, right. there's no way to use it. It's the same problem with furniture. Yeah. We should talk about that. There is, a, I think, a quick way we can do well, it. Well, actually, frontage we could do, but not setbacks, I guess. Yeah. You said 94% of multifamily houses are not conforming? Nine, uh, well, it depends. I broke it down by total number of units. I did singles, twos, threes, oh, fours, right. fives. As you get up to fives and sixes, it's close to 100%. Which actually, if you go to a form-based system, you don't count units. You only count uh, height and, and width. And, you know, in other words, you're just looking at where the four walls of the building are and how they, how they face the street and what goes on inside those walls in terms of whether, you know, you have to meet building code standards for occupancy and stuff like that. But if somebody wants to build you know, a 5,000 square foot building and put one, two, three, four, or five units in it, that's up to them uh, uh, under a form-based system. As long as it meets the park, I mean, obviously you're getting more parking with five, with five units with one, although one house with lots of teenagers can have a lot of cars. Um, but, so, but that's, I mean, that's another way to make it conforming is if we went from the conceptual is we went from this so many thousand square feet I mean, per unit to here's you know here's what your building is here's here are the parameters of how big you can build and then what you put in there is fairly is much more flexible. I don't know if we want to go there, but if we did, that's so I'm confused. Are we are we starting to get into the, the actual substance beyond beyond format? I mean, we are. Is it, that well, do we want? Yeah, we are. So, could, so I, can I back us up a little bit? Yeah. I don't know thing if you I mean, feel like what you yeah. heard tonight allows you to reformat this in a different, slightly different way to bring back to us. That's that's what I hear you asking. Yeah. No, I feel like for the ones so for central business in general, in yeah. URC, I could. Yes, there's plenty that I can um, continue to work on for those, and then in the meantime, I would send out the dimensional. Um, figures I found for the 950 plus units that are in the URC district um, to you all so you can begin to see what those numbers look like okay. and think about that as, okay. as a substance thing for just the URC. And that sounds like, a, a, first of all, a big task for you, but if we get them between now and the 5th is our meeting, yep. two weeks from tonight is the 5th, we'd have 20 to mow over. Right. And then okay, so then what we would get would be this with a slightly mo with the format modifications we discussed, without sub any more substantive changes, but with something to mull over, to perhaps discuss in terms of substantive changes. Is yeah. that does that work for everybody? Well, so is it, would it just pertain to the dimensions of URC? What else? What other substantive things would well, we mull over? Well, for now, yeah. yeah. Well, other, I, I, other are, 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 are uses. I mean, we didn't really, didn't really get to that, but but, right. but specific. Use questions by, by district. I have some questions about that in general business, for example. Okay. 
Yeah, well, this I is mean, probably not the place. So that, I, I think yeah. it's, <clears throat> this is kind of to what you're saying, what Danny was saying. If we want to, how we're going to, how we're going to move forward, if we're going to look at the city as a whole, Carolyn's going to be working on these, these charts for small areas, but I still, I guess I'm still not sure how we, we as a group, now that we've had the public forum, how we're going to start moving forward with specifics. Are we going to, we've talked about looking at little parts of the city, you know, Conn Street or Pleasant Street, or now we can look at uh, zoning districts in the city. But I think what you guys and Dylan was saying is you guys want to look at the whole city. In terms the, of the text based revisions process that, w that was on the timeline, right? So we're starting with text based revisions and then we're going to map later, right? We're, we're following the timeline that we looked at the last time. Right, so but can you start that until Carolyn finishes these tables or how? how Simultaneous. How are we doing that though? Yeah, how are we doing saying that with this I'm just not sure. Are you, are you guys doing it? Are you guys off doing it? Is that you should... no? We don't no. need to work on it. We don't, I haven't decided how we're starting our work. So I think it will be good to have the tables all reformatted so they're comparable. Oh yeah, That'll help I, us I, I find this to be so forward. much easier than. But there's going to need to, as I think Dylan's mentioned a few times, there's going to have to be some analysis of we kind of dabbled in it before, looking at how much nonconformity there was in the neighborhoods and you know what the barriers to mixed use are. So now we're going to have to, I think, do a little bit more analysis and take it a little bit farther in order to be able to really nail down what the what the changes are going to be. So, you know, well, and well, Carolyn, I think, is going to help with that, and we'll be able to help with it as well. But maybe we can pick up an intern at Smith. Can you help out? <laughs> Wish I could. <laughs> Send us a couple of data crunchers. Well, they have like three weeks of school. Three, three, three weeks of school. Computer science, yes. Excellent. Actually, no, we need statistics. So we've got to get them out of the math department. <laughs>